in class number four, we look at meditation and we go deep into the historical purposes of meditation, the spiritual purposes of meditation, all the different types of meditation. And we bring some distinction to these different types of meditation. So you can pick and choose what you need in the moment at the time to help you get to the next step, next level of your spiritual growth and development. It's um, interesting to me how many things are meditative. It's amazing to me how many things are called meditation, which I would call meditative. And the last thing we're going to discuss is guided meditations and how they are used in a spiritual practice. For me personally, guided meditation is like having training wheels on a bicycle. They allow you to do meditative things, but aren't the most effective way to get the results we want.